welcome! After learning about sets in the previous video, we will now talk about the set of real numbers and its subsets. When we learn to count as kids, we are taught the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. These counting numbers form the set of natural numbers. The symbol for this set is a big bold N. Then, we learn the concept of zero. The set of natural numbers plus the number zero form the set of whole numbers. The symbol for this set is a big bold W. And then, as we grow older, we learn about negative numbers. These negative numbers plus the set of whole numbers now form the set called integers. The symbol for this set is a big bold Z. Then, we learn about fractions. Remember those? A fraction is a ratio of two integers. But the denominator cannot be zero. Examples of fractions are one half, two thirds, and negative five ninths. This set is called the set of rational numbers. The terminating and repeating decimal can be expressed as a ratio, so it is also a rational number. For example, 0 0.0303 and so on is the ratio of 1 and 33. The symbol for the set is a big bold Q. Some numbers are not part of the set of rational numbers. These numbers cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. These numbers are part of the set of irrational numbers. An example is pi, a mathematical constant. The golden ratio 5 is also an irrational number. In decimal form, irrational numbers are non-terminating and non-repeating. An example is the decimal form of the square root of 2. The symbol for the set is a big bold H. The set of rational numbers plus the set of irrational numbers form the set of real numbers. The symbol for the set is a big bold R. And there you have it for the set and subsets of real numbers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can go to the next video to learn about the interval notation. Or view the real number line playlist for other videos in this series. Thanks for watching!